What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about Everwild once again. Uh, Jeff Grubb and, and a special Nick were on a podcast, the Xbox Era podcast, and they were talking about this game uh, yesterday. I believe it happened yesterday. It could have been the, the day before. And both of them have said, you know, it's a complete mess. So that's kind of the central idea. Now, I guess to be safe for the people that just, you know, believe or don't believe, right, to take it with a grain of salt, let's just throw out that blanket statement there. But both of them feel very confident with the idea that the game, you know, there's no idea of what's going on with this game and that's kind of the the thing that worries me the most so we know the game has been rebooted i guess through leaks or rumors right the game has been rebooted it maybe isn't going to come out for like another three to four years like this the game is a while out because they just don't know people have left that are very high up if not the tippity top of you know the studio that's been working on ever while they've been uh you know they've left and they've been replaced and from what they say now or even from i guess more specifically jeff grubb says is that nobody really even knows what this game is. The people literally working there at Rare, working on the game day to day, don't even know what like the point of the game is. That's pretty scary. That's pretty bad. And um, this has been a game since it was announced that's been kind of close to me in terms of the visuals. This really screams uh, Kenna Bridge of Spirits or Kena Bridge of Spirits in that when I first saw it, and the same thing with, with Kena, the visuals immediately leap out at you. Now, that's no surprise considering who we're dealing with in terms of the developer, but this game truly looks like next level good in terms of visuals. Now, I didn't know this. Back in, and I, I think I saw the actual trailer, but back in July of last year, 2020, there was a new trailer for it. It was about like a two, two and a half minute trailer. I'm sure I'll show it to you guys here as well. And uh, and I saw that, but I didn't know they also did commentary with it, you know, like as well as a separate video. They had uh, the art director, I believe, talking about the game. And what's funny is I never watched it, and I watched it after I heard what Jeff Grubb said. And you can even kind of tell even back then, everything is very ambiguous everything is very like blanket statementy where, where it they don't even like describe what you are doing in this game now i maybe that's not like the most out there kind of idea for a game that gets announced and this is the second trailer that they show for it and you know they're not ready to you know show it full force so maybe they're not going to give too many details away but there's just really no description in that video of what you're going to be doing like like really focusing in on it so you know, I kind of find that funny. It's also kind of sad in a way because, you know, even it seemed like back then they didn't know. And uh, and here we are. Even in that podcast, by the way, Special Nick says that at one point, years and years and years ago, he had heard that this game was going to try to be a Xbox Series X launch title. So they wanted the game to actually come out last, like, November, December at some point. And, and now, obviously, it's still, again, like, two, three, four years away. So it definitely sucks. Um, you know, I, like, we don't really... All you really have is like the developer, and they're pretty darn good. The visuals are obviously so grabbing, at least to me, that it's just, it's an immediate interest, like just like flat out. Also, because it's Xbox, you know it'll be on Game Pass. So there's like zero reason not to play this game when it comes out, or like, I guess even back when they announced it, right to when it was coming out. There's zero reason not to play it. But it is sad because, I mean, you have these games trapped in limbo, and I'm sure. Each game is trapped in limbo for its own reason, right? Like we knew Skull and Bones was trapped in limbo for many, many years. Beyond Good and Evil 2 is still seemingly trapped in limbo. But like, I don't know, like this game, it, it's it's kind of, it, it hurts. It hurts to kind of hear like they don't even know what they want to do. Like what's the game about? <laughs> you know what I mean? And it, I don't know. It'd be different if you did know what you wanted to do and you just couldn't make it work or it was too ambiguous. You had to cut things down. You know, if there was something along those lines of reasons why you uh you know you couldn't do it. But you know, for this to not even have kind of a base idea, I don't know. And I, I guess that could be coupled with the fact that the creative leads of this game have been swapped. And so, you know, really you do have to start it just from scratch. And also as Jeff Grubb made a point in that video, it's almost at a point now where it's like the word Everwild, like the title, and, and you attach it to what that game was originally going to be, but you didn't even know what that game was in the first place, right? Like us as an audience, we didn't really know. So it's almost like, well, you're attaching it now to something that's going to be potentially very, very different than what we thought it was going to be, even though we didn't even know. It's like, it's like a circle. It's a circle of confusion. You know what I mean? So uh, it, it sucks. It sucks because I definitely, the visuals of this game alone 
are worth noting, are worth like, you know, it's next level good. It immediately puts it, I would say, on, or it should put it on anybody's radar, but it is disheartening to hear, you know, the struggles they've been having. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure, as always, you guys are subscribed. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. And I do a brand new video on the channel every single day. So I hope to see you guys for tomorrow's video.